man charged with five counts of murder pleads guilty in court. 25-year-old Kenneth Ankrum will spend life in prison without the possibility of parole. These charges stem from what at first appeared to be a triple murder. It happened in Ravenel off Savannah Highway back in May of 2016. Deputies were called to a house in that area. Before they could make it into the home, they found Ankrum driving away with the mother of his child. She'd also suffered gunshot wounds. Ankrum surrendered to police and was taken into custody. As deputies entered that home, they found three bodies. 54-year-old Betty Mungin, 29-year-old Alexis Mungin, and 8-year-old Armani Mungin. And we later learned Alexis Mungin was pregnant with twins when solicitor Scarlett Wilson added two additional murder charges against Ankrum. Family members of those victims were in court today as Ankrum pleaded guilty and was sentenced. News 2's Rebecca Klett was in the courtroom as they expressed their grief. Good evening. Essentially what happened here in court, the judge accepted a sentence that the lawyers had already negotiated between them. What that means is life in jail without the possibility of parole. Kenneth Akram served in the Army, deployed in Afghanistan, now suffers from PTSD. His lawyers say it's not an excuse, but it was a powerful influence on him the day he murdered his ex-girlfriend's family and kidnapped her. How could the father of child? Try to kill you. Kawana Munjin shares a young son with Ankrum and says she endured domestic violence at his hands, but wasn't prepared to come home from a DSS hearing and find her mother, her sister, and her niece shot dead. When Kayla gets old enough, I will tell the truth. His dad is a monster. The family says they will never be the same. In order to grow and to move forward, you have to forgive. Not everyone was able to extend grace. And your day will come. Akram rarely looked up as the family spoke. His statement to the court was short. I truly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, apologize to the family. Taking the deal Thursday means the family won't endure a trial or lengthy appeals process. It also spares his life. One of the questions that came up in court today is why he did what he admitted to doing. His lawyers say they don't have the answer to that and they don't have an excuse, but they said that Ankrum came home from Afghanistan, quote, sad, angry, and hypervigilant. Downtown Charleston tonight, Rebecca Collette, count on two.